Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Cookin' with Cheats! Today we're making some black garlic and Asiago pasta. Let's get it. For our shrimp, we're gonna take some frozen shrimp, pour them in a bowl, and put some cold water and let them sit for about 30 minutes, and then that's how you defrost your shrimp. While we wait for the shrimp to boil, we're gonna take out two cloves of black garlic. It's this, I don't know how they make it exactly, but it smells very interesting. This is what it looks like to peel it. It's a very messy process, more than regular garlic, but hey, there you have it. Once you're done peeling the black garlic, you're gonna add it to a bowl. And then we're gonna grate in some Asiago cheese. And lastly, we're gonna add some dry oregano. Now we're gonna make our pasta. We're gonna bring some water up to a boil, add some salt. Then we're gonna add about eight ounces of pasta to the pan. If you're curious, I'm using Ramos homemade spaghetti pasta. I think it's one of the better brands of pasta. We're gonna cook that so it's almost cooked all the way through. So a little shy of al dente. After adding everything, you're gonna mash it down with a fork. The black garlic is really soft, so it should be easy to mash it. it should be looking like a paste almost. So you're gonna just mash that. Make sure it's nicely fine so that when you add it to the pasta, does it clump up too much? Good. When you're done, it should look something like that. Just when the noodle starts turning a little floppy, you're gonna take some pasta water. About two cups worth. Yeah, you're gonna take that and say put that to the side, and then you're gonna drain this and put this to the side as well. Once your shrimp is thawed, you should be able to peel the skin off, take the tail off, put it on a paper towel to damp it dry. You do that for all the shrimp. On medium to high heat, medium, medium, high heat, we're going to add some avocado oil. Once it's heated up, we're going to add our shrimp one at a time. As soon as you put them down, flip them over. And then take them out. Once we're done with the shrimps, we're gonna add a little bit more of the bottle oil, just a touch more. Then we're gonna come in with some red chili flakes and a little bit of garlic powder. We're gonna deglaze with a little bit of bourbon. After a couple minutes, the alcohol should be cooked off. We're gonna add the spaghetti back. After making sure they're nice and well incorporated, we're gonna add a little bit of that pasta water back. cheese mixture, cheese and garlic mixture. A little bit more pasta water. Mm. 
After about a minute or two of turning it, I'm going to add the shrimp back in. And don't forget to salt and pepper to taste. I'll just need a little bit of salt. And a little bit more pasta water. Once we have the sauce right about here where it's nice and creamy, creamy looking, and it's not sticking to the bottom, you know, it's just sliding around. We're gonna kill the heat. And we're gonna mount it with two tablespoons of butter. Unsalted, of course. After you're done making sure everything is nice and well incorporated, you season the taste, we're done. Now, time for the taste test. Let go. Time for the taste test. Let's get it. be a monkey's uncle. That black darn y'all. That is definitely what it's at. God damn, that's good. Woo! Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, Jesus. <clears throat> damn. That is most definitely Cheeto delicious. If you like the video, make sure you like the video. If not, dislike the video and tell me what you think and how I can get better. Until next time, I'm gonna say it again. That was definitely Cheeto Wishes. Until next time, y'all. Peace.